What are you doing? I'm alive, yes. Thank you for the concern. And speaking of, how are we alive? I remember the ship. I remember falling. Then nothing. No, I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. First things first. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like she ran off without us. We need each other, and we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. Something the matter? There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. We haven't gone all that far yet. What are you referring to, exactly? Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. We've no solid leads right now, though. We'd best get hunting. If you discover anything that might help us, I'm all ears. I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. Home. Alders Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Thank you. And you're right. It's a delicate matter. Not something for light conversation. I must admit, you've been a surprise. And not an unpleasant one. Kindred spirits are few and far between for me. Besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. How can I do anything but sing your praises? Must we? No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? Easy is often less interesting. Besides, we've plenty of reason to rely on each other already. You can't confide in just anyone about a monster in your head. Thank you. I'm sure we'll get along perfectly well. Maybe there's another entrance. More of those wretched things. Better stay back. One strike would be lethal.
survival isn't such a distant prospect. I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? I was hoping for a kind soul. Well, not to worry. I saw you on the ship, strutting about whilst I was trapped in that pot. What did you and those tentacled freaks do to me? I'm not an idiot. I saw... Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. <laughs> what was that? What's going on? The worm. Of course. That explains things... somewhat. And to think... I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Aha. A kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Is that so? We clearly move in different circles. So, do you know anything about these worms? Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although... It hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. You know, I was ready to go this alone. But maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. Astarian's an interesting find. Let's hope any future acquaintances don't hold a blade to your throat by way of introduction. Yes. Oh, what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. There. A mind flayer. But it's hurt. That thing's bound to be dangerous, even if injured. Best be careful. Goblins over there. Worth checking for supplies, maybe. What's going on with that room? Looks unstable somehow. Approach the sigil on the stone. 
magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Just your average traveler stuck between realms. Pull me out, and we'll get properly introduced. Whatever you're doing is working wonders. Now a quick little pull should do the trick. Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. A bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Nautiloid as well. I don't know what transpired exactly, but the ship broke into pieces and I suddenly found myself in freefall. As I was plummeting to certain death, I spied a glimmer quite near where I estimated my body to impact with less than savory propulsion. Recognizing this glimmer to be magical in nature, I reached out to it with a weaving of words and found myself on the other side, as it were. How about you? How did you survive the fall? That vast burning wreckage behind you somewhat contradicts your story, but here you stand. So who am I to argue? Still, swashbuckling heroics aside, I have the unfortunate suspicion your survival is still very much in jeopardy. Back on the ship, you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Were you not? The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most? No doubt, but I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. And it looks like we're both starved for answers. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Most excellent! Parasite shared is a parasite halved, or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. For I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. You're not versed in magic, are you? Oh, I do apologize. I meant to ask, are you studied in magic? Namely, are you a wizard? Which you are not. If you meet any elder wizards, let me know. There is a matter I'd like to seek advice on from a master. What's on your mind? Let's see. I hail from Waterdeep, City of Splendors. I am a wizard of considerable acclaim and scholar of exceptional accomplishment. I have a cat, a library, and a weakness for a good glass of wine. 
And if the mood takes me, I'm known to try my hand at poetry. There. Certainly. That I have a great respect for privacy, for instance, especially my own. see a swirl of untamed magic. Then his defenses drop like a portcullis. Out! That was... uncalled for. Not an eventuality I'm entirely unfamiliar with. Nevertheless, please don't try that again unless I invite you to. So, we've picked up a wizard who managed to get stuck in his own portal. <laughs> Hardly a promising introduction. I've heard you can't get blood from a stone, but apparently you can get a wizard from one. Gale seems... interesting. Approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion? You can't move, can't think. Thinking is mercifully done for you. It will be a joy to serve, to die for it an honor. It's possessing your mind forcing you to love it, but then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Your mind's fuse, lusting for something that is gone. But then its grip claws back with a vengeance. A vice locking your mind into obedience. It needs sustenance to survive, and with your very body, you can provide. You feel the creature's thoughts stumble against your magic your will to resist. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Take it to the grove. Zoru was right. Yellow as a toad, and twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Your words flow to her, 
though you never speak them aloud. I know what grows inside you, and I know of a cure. Remember how keen she was to leave me to die in the Nautiloid? We can't trust her. He's right. Let's go. We need to check out that blast. Northwest. Look for Nettie. Whatever your wound, she can mend it. And be careful. There are goblin traps everywhere. Nymessa, come. Enough gawking. Get me down. Never. Observe and listen. Enough You'll gawking. hear goblins. Get me down. As you the tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augusto for purification. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. You are full up. Dismiss your weakest warrior. Need something? Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. Well, you know where to find me. Has the error of your ways become clear? You have made an ally from Kresh Kalir. Few know such fortune. Call me Lazel. I'll trust your judgment, but I won't trust her. Not until I've gotten the measure of her. You've a sharp tongue, elf. Would that your mind proved its equal. Half elf. I suppose the finer details are lost on a creature like you. Come. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. We will ask this Zoru where he has seen my kin. And yet another. Hardly the warmest of welcomes.
act now, or someone else will pick that wreck clean and leave us nothing. I haven't seen anyone but us. It's just wilderness out here. You both twice as tall as me, but I'm half the bloody backbone! But we don't know what that thing even is. And what about the crypt? I'm telling you, it's a ship. And the crypt can wait. Mari and Barton have been trying to break in for days. Now we... Stop! Got ourselves competition already. That's our ship. Well, uh, in that case, come on, you lot. No point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um, second mouse gets the cheese, no? Nobody's getting any damn cheese. Now move it! It would have been quicker to kill them. to send that stone crashing downwards. Wouldn't take much to send that stone crashing downwards. Wouldn't take much to send that stone crashing downwards. my fury.
ready. these mortals be.